Welcome back to No Shit MMA on ThatChannel.com, sponsored by Extreme Couture Toronto. We're down here at the MMA Expo with James the Sandman Irvin, who Thrilled happens to, to be... You, uh, oh, we're huge fans yeah. of you. Thanks so much you for coming on the Scott show. You and Scott Smith, uh, we're not huggers. Yeah, yeah, we're big fans. Yeah, yeah. and so uh, I guess first thing is, why don't you just tell us uh, what's going on with you? you got a fight coming up against Wilson Govea, right? Uh, Wilson Govea, August 29th, is UFC 102. Uh, you know, I'm really excited just to get back in there and fight the top 10 guy. I want to get in the top 10 that's a real important to me right now. So, you know, I bit off a lot. You know, that guy's, uh, tell you the truth, I'd rather fight him than Anderson Silva. You know, because I mean, their just styles are so different. But, uh, it's gonna be a tough fight, so I'm looking forward to it. It's a badass, but I think yeah. you can knock his ass out. Cool. And w what's the plan? Have you got uh, a special, you know, uh, training camp set up for him? You got anything going on different for facing this kind of fighter? You know, Scott Smith broke his jaw last night. Find Nick Diaz, yeah, he's like our number man. one training partner. So it, this could really throw, you know, a monkey in the wrench. So I'm gonna stop find out what man. I have to do. So how is so Scott today? A bit how is Scott? That. Oh, I'm not too sure. I've only talked to our manager a couple times, but they'll put it this way: he was in the ambulance on the way to the hospital afterwards, and he kept telling the guy, "Where's his teeth? He's missing the right side of his teeth." And they told him all his teeth were in his head that his jaw had shattered up at the tie, high top of it. Yeah, I wow. noticed in the post-fight interview he was actually reaching into his mouth, or before the post-fight uh, interview with Nick, he was reaching into his mouth a little bit and kind of checking in with his hands. Yeah. Um, that fight, I mean, you know, to be honest, it, Nick Diaz was throwing just tons and tons and tons of lumber yeah, at him. Sure. Caught him a lot, and uh, but you know what, the, the, the dude Scott Scott Scott's always so in much, there, man. That's why he, we love he, him. He That's why everybody up. loves him. And uh, and you know we saw him against the uh, the the cage a bit. It looked like he was coming out with you a few, you know, that sort of never give up kind of attitude. Yeah. I thought yeah. he was going to get another one where he was going to throw a couple more haymakers and, yeah. and knock him out. What were you it thinking watching? It didn't actually happen, it? though. Oh, I knew it was going to be a tough fight. I mean, it's definitely someone that Scotty should be fighting. But Diaz is, he's a world-class fighter. I mean, he runs triathlons, for God's sakes. I mean, they're, right. they're, yeah, none of us can, we're not, it would take me five years to get into this kind of shape if I started now and didn't stop for five years. For So he's always going to be in great cardio conditioning. I think people are a little misled thinking that he throws lots of punches and they don't have no power on him. Yeah. But there's something about being hit in the face 30 times. 250 points. times in that fight. Yeah, so saving 230, like, pitter-patter kind of ones, that really starts to break your spirit. Yeah, you absolutely. see it in people, it wears them down. Yeah, plus, I mean, when are you going to hit back when you're constantly getting blurred with absolutely. you? Like, literally, there's punches and bunches uh, nonstop. And we don't want to keep you, man. Thanks for coming out and doing this for us. And like I said, we're real big fans. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, when uh, Diaz is talking shit at the end, he's talking right. about your camp, he's totally disrespectful. Most fans probably think, you know, that that's just fucked, right? What, what are you thinking sitting on the couch watching that? I oh, wasn't an asshole, you know, but I, I don't know. Diaz has always been really cool to me. I've sparred with him a couple times because we're all from West Coast. Yeah. Me, him, Uriah, right. Scotty, we all started together. We have a, a new team member, Tim McKenzie, and I think they had some bad blood growing up. Yeah. And then also I know Scotty's new boxing coach, Eric Regan, they had, so we had some problem there at the end because he sparred and trained with uh, um, Diaz Brothers for a long, lot, lot of years, a lot of years. And now he's been training me and Scotty. So I don't know who that was really geared towards. I mean, you know how Diaz is. He's hot and cold. So yeah. he was just hot that night. Is he just an angry motherfucker all the time? You know, man, he's, it sucks to say that too. For, that's why I was, I was fucked up him saying that. Because he was my favorite. It, it was, I tell you yeah. too, if you're going to ask me who my favorite fighter is, it'd probably be Nick Diaz. Yeah. Just because of the style that he has. He goes in there with that attitude. And, right. I, mean, you know, I mean, definitely he knows it's a show. Like he said last night, and he puts it on extreme. And But, man, the guy's extreme in everything he does, whether it be triathlon for conditioning or jiu-jitsu. Or shit-talking. Or shit-talking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you got to get on a plane, go home the next couple hours, and take care of your gym? Yeah, so me and Scott have a gym together. So Scotty breaking his jaw, I'll be having to pick up classes this weekend. He was going to start for me. Cool. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, Great man. luck with the uh, fight with Wilson Gouveia. Yeah, we'll be cheering for you, brother. Thank you so much for thanks, coming thanks. on the show. We really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Cheers.